In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the decomposition tree in Power BI to really quickly analyze your data and get down to the key points that are moving some of your key metrics like profit and sales. And also how to use AI in this tool to do it a whole lot faster. The data set we're looking at today is an Adidas wholesale data set to their main retailers. I have a retailer breakdown dashboard here which uses a couple of bar graphs and slicers to drill down into what's driving sales. I'm gonna replace this with a decomposition tree. So let's get started. Go to insert and then from insert, you'll see a decomposition tree sitting in AI visuals. Click that and then you'll have your decomposition tree on the dashboard and then you can just pull that out and resize it. When you create the decomposition tree, you're gonna have a bunch of options in the visual. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add operating profit to analyze because that's what I want to analyze in my decomposition tree. Then I'm gonna explain that by a number of categorical categories. So I've got retailer, I have day of the week, sales method, region, and product. And I'm gonna add tool tips, which will just come up in the decomposition tree. So that's operating margin and sales. And you can see those tool tips come up when I hover over. The first thing I'm gonna do is a manual breakdown. So you use manual and AI breakdowns. I'm breaking this down by retailer and then at Amazon, I'm breaking it down by product. I'm just gonna fix up my style in here. So in the bars, I'm just gonna change them to yellow to blend in with the rest of the dashboard. And then I'm just gonna change the name of operating profit in my visual just to op profit. I've added this visual we created into the retailer breakdown AI dashboard and I can use the filters in here to filter out my decomposition tree. So you can use the filters to filter down to anything you want. Again, I'm breaking down by product here and I'm going to go into focus mode and you should always highlight to your users to go into focus mode. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna lock in a manual breakdown of retailer because this is a retail dashboard and to do that just press a lock in here. Now I'm gonna use AI to say what is causing the highest operating profit and that's the Northeast region and the next category it's picked is product in here. And then I can go another high value and then it's picked sales method. This is a relative split. So the AI is picking what it deems the most interesting split, but you can also pick absolute split and you can see the categories have changed now. And that's just AI has just gone with the overall biggest absolute split that moves operating profit the most. I can choose a high value for Foot Locker here and you can see that's Men's Street Footwear and Products, so a different split, and then the region is Northeast. If I click onto Coles, it's gonna change what AI has chosen as the interesting category, and the same for Sports Direct. If you don't want this to happen, once you're happy enough with what category AI has picked for something and you wanna look at other regions, just click off that light bulb, and then it'll just do a static split so you can flick between them. So I'm gonna do a real use case here. I have a 37% operating margin, but Sports Direct has a 41 and Walmart has a 35. I'm going to use this to figure out why that is. So in the filters, I'm just going to pick Walmart and Sports Direct, and I'm going for a high value for Walmart. So what's the highest operating profit? That's Woman's Apparel. If I do this static now and go to Walmart and look at Woman's Apparel, you can see it's a 7% difference, and there's a 7% difference or more on most things. I'm going to go to Walmart and see what's the lowest value, and it's saying December and I can see November is also a low operating margin month. If I go to Sports Direct now, I can see that the Sports Direct for November and December sales are about 10% higher. If I go to Sales Method in here, now I can see that in Sports Direct, the outlet was quite high, but if I go to Walmart, I can see that the outlet is 10% lower. So I hope you found this useful. This is a really powerful tool and it's really good for finding out what's driving certain metrics. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and follow for more data analytics tips.